Hi guys and ladies, I made a beer batter fish recipe some months ago that turned out great, but I did it with low carb pancake mix. Now some dieters don't care for anything with wheat flour in it, so I may have found a new wheatless way. Ah, 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 but we need some fish. Let's see if we could catch some in these windy conditions. This is the latest in the year I've ever tried fishing open water. It's the end of December, unseasonably warm and very windy. I'm going to try my most reliable method for cold weather, mealworms with a 1 16th ounce jig. If you watch my episodes, you've seen this before. I can't be picky. Any species of fish will do at this time of the year. Right off the bat, I got one. Oh, ah, I needed it. Great. Perfect eating size, just under 12 inches. <laughs> 11 and a half. A beauty! I hope it's not over 12 inches. No, I think it's just right. Over 12 inches, we have to release them. That's what the biologist said. Just, just under 12, so I can keep them. Wonderful. Very tiny, but I've got to fillet them anyway. Just have to. The rules are the rules. <laughs> this is almost embarrassing, but it makes for good food. Another little guy. Well, I've got enough food now. This will be great for my recipe. <laughs> Embarrassing. I've got more than enough fish here for this beer batter recipe. It's cold out here, so let's get in the house where it's warm. It was 48 degrees yesterday, the day after Christmas, and I was able to catch fish, and I got over a pound of these fish fillets. But before we go to work on them, let's make a quick creamy slaw. Let's do a real quick coleslaw mix. Here I've got one half cup of sour cream. Next, one half cup of mayonnaise, mayo. Here's about a third of a cup of sliced red onion. Now I'm adding three tablespoons of chipotle hot sauce. Chipotle is important. That's the whole bottle. What I'm trying to do is cut the bigger fish into three strips and the small fish into two. So now I'm just going to salt and pepper these little guys on one side. Time to make the beer batter. Now I've got four teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, here's a third teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now I've got a half teaspoon of this exotic salt. Let's get the clumps out. So here I'm supposed to add two thirds cup of beer. We'll hold some in reserve. 
Ah, it's thin. Ah, but wait. You guessed right. We forgot the eggs. Let's put two in. Too thin. Couple more. That's about a cup of almond flour now. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these fish, plop them into this batter a few at a time, and then put them into the hot oil at 365 degrees. I'll put the basket in now. Let's see how this goes. There's a little guy. A couple little guys. They're sunk in there. I hope I could find them. Hello? Hello? Ah, there's one. I'm wondering if I should have uh, coated the fish with flour first. I've done that before, but the recipe didn't say to. They're looking okay. Pretty good, actually. Let's get our deep-fried yummy tots out. They don't look too bad. The recipe didn't call for it. Now I'm sorry I didn't like coat them first in some sort of flour, whether it's coconut, almond, or even low carb flour, which I have. I'm getting them out. This is batch two. See what I mean? Coating is like coming off. It looks good otherwise. Another secret is not to crowd the basket. Mm-hmm. See, much better this uh, ba last batch, last batch. Oh, they still look good, even though they're slightly falling apart. Let's put them in the oven and keep them warm until our special guest arrives. While our fish is keeping warm in the oven, I might as well tell you, the famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over for dinner this evening. You know, after 50 years of seeing each other, she still hasn't even mentioned the word marriage? I can't afford a, a diamond ring anyway. Still, I, I would be encouraged if she would at least say the word marriage. I've got five low-carb tortillas. I'm going to heat these up so we can make tacos with our fish and our fixings. Well, here we are again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much, Miss Cheeks, for honoring me with your You're presence welcome. in my abode. And tonight we had uh, fried fish tacos, and I made a special beer batter. What did you think? It was very good. The beer batter was so crispy. I just enjoyed eating the really? pieces of batter even without the fish, although the fish was very tasty. That was made with almond flour, but yes. you would never know it. No. It was just good. It was delicious, really. And you like the uh, slaw of dressing? Of course, I always like the slaw. It's great, very good. Great, Yes. Miss Cheeks, oh, I, I suppose I can say Lulu now. We're comfortable yes. enough with each other. I think so. Uh, would you like to... Oh, play a little word game where you try to guess the missing word from a pair of words that often go together. You know, like salt and pepper. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, try this one. Peanut butter and... Jelly. Great. Bacon and... Eggs. Great. This is a little harder. Laurel and... Hardy. Great. This is real hard. A horse and carriage. Great. Uh, love and mm, diamonds. Uh, uh, diamonds. Uh, <clears throat> well, how would you like to go watch a, a, a movie? Sure. There's an old musical on. I'd like to see. Oh, okay. Can I have a hug? But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best 